Rainy days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Talked for hours and never slept Two silhouettes on the concrete steps We watched the sun as it slowly crept From the horizon to the place we met Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Sweet like my um, new mother-in-law, Jack. <laughs> so, on behalf of my wife and I, it means a lot to us to have all our family and friends here today. And we really appreciate the effort that we've all made to come. Jan and Andy, my new in-laws. Uh, thanks for creating such a beautiful daughter. But thanks for letting me marry her as well. You've given us, you know, everything and more and, you know, we can never repay what you give us, so we just want to say a massive thanks to you two. Right, Mum and Dad, a million thank yous wouldn't be enough. You know, we're really grateful. <laughs> thank you. I'm, I'm skipping that bit. <laughs> right, and because I said it was short and sweet, we're ending with my beautiful wife, Hannah. I'm, I'm so excited to start our life together and hopefully one day a family. Who knows, we never know, do we? So, if we can all please raise a glass for Mrs. Perrins. Thank you very much. I love you lots. Thank you. At this point, I'd like to say, Jan and myself think a lot of you, Tom. You're the top bloke with a good sense of humour. And Tom always has this thing about, he'll say that Jan always sticks up for him. He calls it Team Jan. And he says, me and Hannah stick together and we're Team Andy. But now as you're both married, we're going to be called Team Jandy. <laughs> what can I say, Hannah? She always thinks I'm the lucky charm when she's got a place at university or she's got a job. She always treats me as the lucky charm. But just because you're married now, I can still take you for any of the interviews, OK? <laughs> Before I hand over to the best men, I'd like to propose a toast to Hannah and Tom. So, the start of uh, Tom and Hannah's courtship was a love story line over. Um, it was actually outside Voodoo, four o'clock on a Sunday morning, blind drunk. <laughs> no, but on, honestly, uh, on a more serious note, um, Hannah and Tom have known each other since high school. And honestly, Hannah's like lovely, she's caring. Honestly, Hannah, you're ace and you're perfect for him. We're both made up for you both. She, now this part of the speech becomes a little bit more blurry, but um, with turning 18 becomes our first lads holiday. But one night um, in particular stands out for that trip, doesn't it, Ash? A night two people will never forget. <laughs> and I'm gonna let him digress, um, but, but not before we reveal our first gifts of the evening. So in short, it was your typical day and night in Ibiza. Tom had a few too many and needed to go home. But our caring and lovely mate Sam at the back over there, he decided to take him home. Now two things happened following this. Despite Tom's inability to complete basic movement, he woke up like this. 
and ten years later, only one of them has come out as gay. <laughs> Throughout school, Tom was always sports obsessed. He loved sport, playing sport, watching sport. The only thing he didn't like about sport was the diet of a sportsman. <laughs> Every morning, he used to have a Mars bar for breakfast. Uh, we want Tom to start his married life like he starts most days, a Mars bar in hand. If everybody's got one, or everybody's nearly got one, raise your Mars bars and raise your Mars bars to the happy couple. So cheers to Hannah and Tom. Just believe. 